Pastor, welcome. Thank you for having me. Can you help us understand why there's so much reluctance among white evangelicals to get vaccinated against this disease? There is always some type of skepticism in this area. Uh, whenever there's anything new or anything different, you know, particularly in the Bible Belt region, a lot of folks will jump to conclusions and they'll take the first thing that they hear, whether it's true or not, and they run with that. And that's where there's concern. Well, is that reluctancy a matter of religion? In other words, you know, if, if it's God's will for me to get sick, so yeah. be it. Is it a skepticism over science? Is it about politics? What, what is it? It's not really a political thing. It, it does come back to biblical matters uh, because of th some of the, the teachings about the end times and about what many times people refer to the mark of the beast. And mm -hmm. that in and of itself is where a lot of people are, are having these fears because they've been taught that there's going to come a time in the end times, as they're told, that you're going to have to receive this mark, that it's going to be forced on you. And that's one of the things that puzzles me uh, as a minister, that no one's forcing you to take this vaccine. But, you know, it's, it's recommended and it has nothing to do with what, you know, this teaching is all about. Are you saying that people there are equating the, the vaccine with Satan? You say mark of the beast, that's what I think. Right, yeah, yeah. I, I, it, it's part of what's taught in the book of Revelations, and that's what it's referring to. So when someone comes to you with that concern and says, Pastor, is this vaccine the mark of the beast, what do you say? Well, I automatically shoot it down because... It's not that, and according to my interpretation of the scripture, nowhere there talks about a vaccine, nowhere there talks about it being something like that. It, and, and that's where the confusion comes in. And I took the vaccine uh, early on as being a chaplain at our local hospital, it was offered to me. And anybody that comes to me personally, I will tell them that it's safe and it's something that to me that God has given our scientists and doctors the ability to create and uh, it's completely safe. When someone asks you that question, is it coming from a place of real fear? I, I believe some of it is and a lot of my fellow pastors uh, have actually preached over the last year during this entire pandemic about fear and how fear is not of God and that you know we don't need to give in to fear and I agree with that. But then when it comes to this vaccine, this is something that a lot of individuals, Christians all over prayed for a treatment and a vaccine. And, and I truly believe that our God provided and gave the knowledge to create these. But now you've got this issue with this reluctancy and it's puzzling.